the Sandown Handicap Hurdle will be my final race of the week then. Week 12, one more week to go, and it's two and three quarter miles. This time it's a 0 to 100 handicap over hurdles, and the top one is Opera House for Kevin Minahan, Alina Treat, Alex Cherry, Tamanarko Gift, Darren Thompson, Florence, Kevin Minahan, Goodbye Millie, Vinnie Gerard, Seal Team, Paul Rhodes, Ring of Esteem, Thomas Rogers, Amazing Fling, Craig Beckwith, Grandma's Kalapa, Martin Leedham, Pink Champagne, Derek Hinton, Bun Bell, Daniel French, Inspector Bergerac, Paul Rhodes, Olaz Tin, Darren Thompson, Taken, James Shea, Astromancer, Alex Cherry, Amethyst Lontana, Ryan Costello, Jenny Jingle, Thomas Rogers, Noctice, Vinnie Gerard, and Poppy Elise for Martin Leedham. So that's the list then. I call in in the rain, and away they go then. Two miles and six furlongs over the small timber obstacles and Poppy Elise in the orange jacket is going to go into the lead being chased by Amethyst Lontana so they get over the first and Poppy Elise really skipped over that one really nicely and opened up a good couple of lengths lead and they're all safely over the second as well then with Poppy Elise hopefully going to get over to the fence in the lead then Amethyst Lontana in the pale jacket the grey in second and with Taken third and Seal Team and Stable mate Inspector Bergerac after that as they go over a third flight, which they're all safely over. Uh, Poppy Elise in the lead by a good four or five lengths then to Amethyst Lontana, Seal Team, Pink Champagne has moved through in that pink jacket then. Alina Treat on the inside as they take the fourth. And the jockey on the leader is staying wide on the track, which appear to me to be the wisest choice and now as they take this turn he does tack across didn't appear to lose too much of his lead so Poppy Elise then is in front from Amethyst Lontana second Seal Team third and then Pink Champagne is fourth then comes Alina Treat and on last tin with Taken and Opera House after that one then the grey Grandma's Kalapa Inspector Bergerac's dropped back a little bit another grey right over on the far side there is Florence and towards the back not twice is still the Back marker Bun Bell's also near the back than the front. They're racing up the straight then for the first time, and popularly skips over the fifth with a good clear lead of four or five lengths to Amethyst Lontana second. Then Seal Team third, Pink Champagne four, then Alina Treat and last tin. Then Grandma's Kalapa with Taken an Amazing Fling is behind them, and then Astro Mansa trying to get between the Grey and Taken as they take the sixth. And all safely over that one as well with the Vinny Gerard pair. Goodbye, million knock twice at the back, but not too far a rift to still be in contention as Poppy Elise's lead is down to three now. Then, as they come past the big screen, they're past the one in post. And one more circuit of Sandown Park, and Poppy Elise is the clear leader by three lengths to Amethyst Lontana in second, Seal Team third, Pink Champagne four. That's been the one, two, three, four pretty much. All the way so far, Alina Treat going up the inside. All our tin and Inspector Bergerac next. Then Jenny Jingle and Amazing Fling. Ring of Esteem trying to get a bit closer. So to his Opera House. Then Florence and Taken. Tamanarko Gift has lost its place a little bit. And towards the back, Astro Mansa and Goodbye Million knock twice as they make the long run towards the next flight. With Poppy Elise clear in front. Good four lengths to Amethyst Lontana and Seal Team. In all as tin. Pink champagne. Alina Treat's got the rail. Grandma's Calapa is getting a little bit closer. Bun Bell's also making a forward move in those green and yellow hoops. But Poppy Elise is the one they've got to get to at the moment, but they're still a little bit further than a mile to race. And plenty of jumping still to be done as they skip over the seventh. And Poppy Elise in front, Seal Team though now moved into second. Then all last tin as they get over the eighth now then. Just four more to jump now. And Poppy Elise is in front. Still by about three, but the rest of them are really bunching up and queuing up behind to take her on. And Bum Bell has moved through nicely into third place as they take the fourth from home and Poppy Elise now Seal Team is inching just that little bit closer two lengths away now then Bum Bell on the last tin then Alina Treat then comes Ring of Esteem Inspector Bergerac after that one Pink Champagne dropping back a little bit so too is Amethyst Lontana Grandma's Calapa is still making ground so too is Taken Jenny Jingles trying to get going they skip over the 
tenth. They've got just two more to take then now. And it's Poppy Elise in the lead from Seal Team and all else. Tina then Bombella Inspector Bergerac and Amazing Fling. Ring of a Steam coming round the outside. Alina Treat's going to try and sneak up the inside. Florence is going widest of all. Then comes Grandma's Calapa trying to get into it. They've still got to get to this Poppy Elise. Poppy Elise then in the lead with just two more to take and slightly less than four furlongs to race. Poppy Elise in front from Pink Champagne who's now come back through in a second. Then knock twice who's come from the back. Inspector Bergerac, Bumbell, Florence, Opera House, all last ten. There's plenty of my chances as they race towards the second last flight then. But Poppy Elise is still in the lead but here come the pack now ready to swamp her. And Poppy Elise on the inside is about to be taken by Bumbell and Opera House. Pop Poppy Elise jumps in okay. He's still in the lead but now Bumbell and Opera House burst past. And it's Bumbell racing up the hill towards the final flight. Bumbell suddenly gone two or three clear from Opera House. Amazing fling. Grandma's Calapa is running on, but it's Bumbell in the lead over the final flight. They go. Bumbell went right away through it. Grandma's Calapa run. Amazing fling are trying to close, but it's a short running. And Bumbell's got enough left in the tank to take it. And up towards the line, Bumbell's going to win it. Bumbell's the winner. Amazing fling is second. Grandma's Calapa is going to be third. Then Opera House is going to be fourth. And after that one, Ring of Esteem and all else, and Florence and Knock Twice and Seal Team popularly struck right out of it um, Amethyst Lontana ended up last but Bonbell made its move and took it despite that mistake at the final flight still had enough in the tank to take that one pretty comfortably from Amazing Fling and Grandma's Calapa let's get a lick, look a lick <laughs> let's get a look at the finishing order and it's Daniel French again. Bombell takes the win for Daniel French. Amazing fling for Craig Beckwith second. Grandma's Calapa for Martin Leland was third. Opera House for Kevin Meenhan fourth. And Ring of Esteem for Thomas Rogers was fifth. That's me done for the week. I'm going to pass you over to Ryan for the next race. And then Stu's going to finish the week off with the Hunters. And if Daniel French continues with the form he's been in so far, then I think he'll be taking the Hunter King trophy.